Hi, everybody. It's Mark Russian of markrushin.com. It is Sunday, May 9th, 2021, second video of the day. I know I said in my earlier video I wasn't going to do a reel to recon, but my tentative plans for this evening fell through. And so I started looking at some you know, commercial realty uh, sites here. Anyway, reel to recon for artist number 20, former bank, 25 miles east of Des Moines for under 100 grand. What is reel to recon for artists? Well, I'm Mark Rushton, and someday I'd like to have a studio workspace outside my house. It could be a separate home. It could be a rented or purchased commercial location. It could be an outbuilding on an acreage. I just don't know. It'll be way in the future, though. Uh, it could be in a big town. It'll probably be in a small town. I'm currently in Iowa, so most of the properties I feature will be located in Iowa. I contend that artists, you know, musicians, painters, writers, etc., should not live in expensive big cities or areas if they can help it. They have a bit of income from their work. They should consider moving somewhere cheap in the sticks and owning property rather than renting. It would give you time to focus on your work and building your career. And I contend that using realty websites is a great way to do advanced reconnaissance. That's what I do here with these videos. And uh, anyway, so here we are. We are in Monroe, Iowa. 108 East Washington Street, a, a former bank. Where is Monroe, Iowa? Monroe, Iowa is Monroe, Iowa is not in Monroe County. Like everything in Iowa, it's it's not what you think. Keokuk is not in Keokuk County, you know. <laughs> Des Moines is not in Des Moines County. Iowa City is not in Iowa County. It's amazing how that works out. Uh, Monroe is a city in Jasper and Marion counties. Population is 1,830. It is over here where it says PCM High School. It is about 30 minutes from downtown Des Moines. It is situated between Prairie City and Pella on Highway 163 and just maybe about 10 miles north of Lake Red Rock. I've been through this town once in my life. And not that long ago, I sold a bike. I sold a bike to uh, somebody in Oskaloosa, delivered it there, and then drove up this way. And went and visited my parents in Des Moines. And so I did the bypass. Never, never been through the city. And uh, anyway, here's the property from Google Maps about five years ago when it was Great Southern Bank. And uh, we'll, we'll go through the downtown here in a little bit. But here is the listing out on the Iowa Realty website. And it says... Yeah, two thousand ninety nine thousand dollars. The estimated payment of six hundred and forty nine dollars a month. I do that. I do believe that is with twenty percent down, and the taxes are about twenty six hundred dollars. About two hundred, a little bit over two hundred dollars a month. And so yeah, your total payment being about six forty nine a month. Not bad. That's pretty good. As long as you don't have to put a roof on it or something like that, or you know, major plumbing or anything like that. But since it's a commercial building, you, I mean, you don't have to worry about too much. Uh, just very minor bathrooms, all that sort of stuff. So many possibilities. Don't they all say that? What a great location for this commercial building in Monroe, Iowa. Let your entrepreneurial side lead you to what is possible with this building. Formerly a bank, so it has a drive-through window area. Spacious entry, main area, private office spaces, half bath, kitchenette area, break room, lots of storage space. 465 days on the market. 22 by 120. Built in 1935. One person saved it. All right. Let's 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 go into the building here. Take a look. I think it has not been a bank for some time. The sign's down. You got weeds growing around it. Uh, there's the ATM. And there's the drive up window and the ATM and your back door. Uh, wow, look, there are cameras there. That'd be kind of fun. And the back of the building. Here is one of the few interior shots. Uh, doesn't that look like a fun place to work, right? <laughs> Just get the desks all lined up. But as far as for somebody like me who would be interested 
in using this as a uh, recording studio or a fine art studio or a private gallery. This is this is about as this is pretty good for six hundred and four for under a hundred thousand for about six fifty a month. This is fantastic. This is really good, even with the drop ceiling and the uh, fluorescent lights, which I'm not too big thrilled of or not too big of a fan of. And the carpet that okay, we can live with that. And of course, I would not if I use this as a sort of a personal studio, something like that, uh, it would not be open to the public. It would be, you know, maybe for private things or something like that, but it would be a, it would be a working, it would be a working factory of art, sound and um, visual art. But this kind of a space is great. I mean, even if you wanted to, to divide it up a little bit further, art section, recording studio type space. And we'll look at the, uh, we'll look at the outside of the building here in a little bit here and make sure there's no trains passing right by. I do like trains, but I don't like trains that close. Look at this cameras everywhere. <laughs> like Chuck Berry put them in, right? <laughs> look that up. And here's one of the offices here. This is this perfectly fine, perfectly fine. And your half bath. And that's it. They do not show the kitchenette. These, um, it's probably here on the other side here. These uh, commercial realty websites are very, very, uh, usually they don't show that many photos. Or sometimes they show too many photos, you know. Love this. This camera's everywhere. Like one, two, three. Four. There's probably one on the back. I wonder if there's a, a, there's probably not a vault in this bank. It's probably one of those banks, you know, this used to be something else and they fashioned it into a bank. Well, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there here in a little bit. Okay. So like I said, Monroe, Iowa here, this is where it's located. And here is what it looked like outside. And you're right next to Cherry's Matt and Frame Studio. Don't know if they're around. Mike's Lounge, get the beer and cocktails, the pizza. I wonder if they got breasted chicken. That'd be that'd be good. A little church down the way. I wonder. Can we go down here? No, we can't go down there. Let's just try to get around. What is this little cute thing next door? With the American flags. I don't know what it is. Let's go around the block here and see if we can see what's going on behind. That is the Monroe State Bank. Well, I thought it was a church. Oh, there's a church behind it. Okay. Twenty thirteen here. Can we see down the alley? Oh, you don't get any parking behind. Uh, that's where. That's where the building goes, right on the alley. Doesn't look like we're gonna go down the alley at all. Let's go around the block. Whoops, where'd I go? Where did I go? Clarence, take me home. Okay, so it's right off of, let's do this here, Highway 14, which I know goes through Newton. It's always got you the wrong way. So this is Highway 14. And uh, anyway, I'm lost. <laughs> what else we got in here? Got a Napa Auto Parts store, the Mustang Car Wash, the PCM High School, Casey's. There's two Casey's. Oh my gosh. What in the world?
And so anyway, that's where you are. And then here's another uh, listing. This is from Berkshire Hathaway. It's the same photos. All right. So that, that, that kind of a building is for me in the future, that that's pretty good. Uh, not so thrilled about the front of it. Uh, it'd be nice to have some parking behind, but it, not too big of a deal killer. Uh, the ATM, uh, what is the deal with that? Right. You have people driving up all the time, you know, some of them with loud boom, boom, boom stereos, probably that might be kind of a bad thing. Do we have any railroads coming through there? Let's take a look. I don't think we do. I don't see any train tracks and you're, you know, you're about a block, half block off uh, the highway there, which I'm sure gets pretty sleepy later on. And uh, anyway, so what's it like to live in Monroe, Iowa? Like, you, you know, okay, so you have that place. Maybe you want to live close by and, you know, you can get a place in Monroe here. Let's do lowest price first here. You get a two bedroom, one and a half bath for 65 grand. That's pretty good. And a four bedroom for 125, 139. And they go up from there. And, you know, if you wanted to live in Pella, which is about, I think it's about 12, 13 miles to the southeast, Pella is a little bit more expensive. See, so you're, you're already getting into 150s, 190s on a house. And then you get a drive, right? But so, and then if you lived in Des Moines and drove out to Monroe, well, I suppose you could do that. But you'd have to, you'd really want to live like on the east side of, uh, the east side of Des Moines or Pleasant Hill, something like that. Um. But anyway, uh, that okay. But, but just to entertain you, I, that that building's pretty good. I mean, I really like that space. I really like that space there. That's that's pretty good. So, um, but yeah, uh, if I didn't live in Monroe, Iowa, I probably would not. get it maybe if i lived in pella because it'd be like a little you know 12 15 minute commute to the office right uh that might not be bad and the winter might be bad but <laughs> the rest of the year it might not be so bad yeah, i'm just trying to think about that yeah that's pretty good that's a good space a little big a little on the big side, 2,500 square feet is a lot, a lot of room. Um, I'd be more uh, probably happier in the 800 to 1,500 square foot range. But overall, I mean, that that looks pretty good. So anyway, uh, I'm going to wrap it up here. This is Real to Recon for artist number 20, a former bank, 25 miles east of Des Moines for 100 grand. Not bad. Not bad. It's... Uh, I keep looking at that sort of stuff. Yeah, not bad. Uh, not the prettiest thing on the planet, but uh, and kind of in the middle of nowhere. But maybe you want that. Maybe, maybe, maybe you want to be in the middle of nowhere. Uh, yeah, I don't know about that ATM and all that traffic that be, might be coming through there. That might that might kind of be a deal killer because. Uh, who owns that bit of land, right? 22 feet wide. I don't know if I own that. If I would own that, if I bought that 22 feet wide. Yeah, who knows? All right. I'm rambling now. But anyway, Real to Recon for Artist number 20 is over. See you on the next one.